If you're watching this video, there's a very strong chance that you've never actually pulled a substantial amount of money out from your trading account into your personal bank account, which can I go ahead and get started right now? Can I give you one of the biggest tips in all of trading? I do not believe you fully understand the sanctity, the power, and the richness that is $5,000. Now, why am I coming up with $5,000? Because I know if you're watching this video, you probably have seen $5,000 of profit in your trading accounts at least once at one point in time. Even if you were down a little bit, even if you took your account from 30,000 and went down to 20,000 and you went from 20 to 25,000. I don't know if you know how much $5,000 is. For $5,000, <laughs> me and you, or you and your wife, or you and your best friend can take a trip pretty much anywhere in the entire country, wherever you are, wherever country you're in, you can take a flight there to the biggest city, get a really nice hotel room, go to the nicest restaurant imaginable, have an incredible meal, go to a play afterwards, drink the finest drinks, and then probably get a custom-made tailor suit for the both of you and then fly back home and still have money left over. $5,000 is a substantial amount of money. And most individuals, they want a million dollars in their account before they do anything, before they reward themselves at all. The very first purchase I ever made was a refrigerator with an ice button. Because growing up, I never had that. That to me was true luxury. And every time I opened that refrigerator door and got hit with that beautiful cold air, it reminded myself, pull out profits from the market because you have to begin to link positivity into your brain regarding overall trading and the overall markets, which brings me to point number two, point number two about you becoming a profitable trader. Finally, like actually making it is the very basic, you heard it a million times, less is more. But I don't think you fully understand yet what less is more actually means. So let me break it down for you. This video is really intended for traders who have $500,000 or less as a net worth. And what I want to do is I want to show you what I did and what I've helped thousands of other traders do in order to become eventually a millionaire through trading, through active markets, through investing, and through using the stock market to propel your wealth. The average losing trader is placing five or more trades per day. The mental gymnastics become, I need to trade more because I need to make more money. And if I'm in front of the computer and I'm not trading, I'm wasting my time. Nothing can be further from the truth. The point of trading is to get time freedom. That's the point. That's the point is to not be in front of your computer all day, to go out and play with your kids, to go play soccer, to go play baseball, to go travel to your grandma's house in Sweden. The goal is to not be in front of the computer all day. So if you are stressing about your trades, taking way too many trades, being in front of the computer too long, too often, going up in the morning only to give it back later in the day because you're bored because you have nothing else to do. You are the mayor of Stupidville. Congratulations. And you didn't even need an election. Speaking of trades, I would love to make a trade with you right now. I'm about to trade a big aha moment to you. And in return, I would like you to do this. Boop. On the subscribe button, if it's currently red, make it gray. Subscribe to the channel because I promise Myself and my team are going to continue to deliver world-class information and customer service your entire trading journey and career. All right, here's the huge takeaway promised just a few seconds ago. If you have more money, it becomes a lot easier to make more money. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, hold, st stay with me for a moment because this might shock you. In order to become a great trader, you really do need to become a solid investor first. If you are not trading profitably, it is because your monetary base is probably pretty awful. You have some big leaks in your money bucket. So if you're putting money in, but there's a bunch of leaks down here, it's not going to work. So you have an income problem, a finance problem, a budget problem, and a money problem. Trading can't fix those. 
you have to make sure that the bucket is contained so that no leakage happens so that as you trade, you're actually creating perpetual income over the longer period. Here's a perfect example looking at the charts. If you made it this far into the video without me looking at a chart, hey, congratulations, it's quite rare. I usually just jump right into the charts, but here we go. All right, I'm pulling up a company. Here's the chart, it's Costco. Costco, you know what Costco is. You've shopped there a million times. This is where you buy your toilet paper in bulk and probably your socks also because you're a leaky bucket. You have a financial problem. You have a monetary issue. You have leaks and you got to plug those leaks. The leaks is you're taking too many trades. You're being way, way, way too into the markets and you're not studying. You're spending too much time actively trading. You're not spending enough time actively practicing and just preparing your money to focus it on something so that as you grow your monetary base, it becomes so much easier to actually trade because you have your principles, your foundations, your cash, your confidence, and as I mentioned before, you have more money. If you had bought Costco, literally any time other than the exact high of $600 back in April of 2022, and you just left it alone, you most likely will be making a lot more money than you're making right now actively trading, what, Apple, Facebook, NVIDIA, Google, any of those companies, the companies that are worth hundreds of billions of dollars, your $20,000 doesn't matter. Take your money, focus it on something, concentrate to get rich, and then later diversify to stay wealthy. What I did was I took most of my money a long, long time ago and I shoved it into Apple. I let Apple go up over three or four months. Maybe I make 30, 40%. I sell that position. I take the profits and then I go buy something else. Microsoft. Buy some Microsoft. Leave it alone for five or six months. During those five or six months, I am still trading. I am practicing. I'm taking smaller amounts of money. I am learning the game. I am learning the craft and I'm letting my money grow for me on the side. I'm still having my job. I'm still paying down my debts. I am getting my money game fixed. This is why you're not winning at trading. Your money game isn't awesome. Care less about active trading. Care much more about long-term investing. Buy good companies that are going up. That's how you make money in the markets. It is that simple. Find a great company that's going to go up over time, buy it, hold on to it, and sell it when it's higher than what you bought it for. That's it. And if you repeat that process a few different times over the course of three or four years, while you trade, or trade smaller sums of money to get your process down, as your money is growing over here, your confidence is growing, your awareness is growing, and you feel better about yourself because, let's face it, you're richer. Don't let anyone tell you that money doesn't buy happiness. They haven't been broke enough, okay? Every $5 I get, I get happier. Money definitely can buy happiness if you know where to shop. So that being stated, here's what I'm telling you. Make sure if you want to be an amazing active trader, if you want to make tons of money day trading, if you want to grow beyond your wildest financial imagination, you need to master the game of longer term financial principles. You need to get the whole picture really nailed down, grow this money, and ultimately your trading will become better. And you know what? You know what? If it doesn't, if you can't actively day trade to save your life, if you can't even actively swing trade to save your life, but, but your larger, bigger core portfolio has grown over time and your net worth has gone from 200000 to $450,000 over the course of two years because of your investing, your money, you're paying down your debts, you're making more money at work, and you're getting more clarity on where you're going, that I can work with. That can be absolutely deadly in the markets. Once you are comfortable, you are confident, and you no longer trade out of need and dependency. Most traders don't pick great trades. They pick trades based on the need to trade and the dependency and the hope to make money. That's where traders are going wrong. And I really hope this video is helping your psychology, your thought process, and what you need to do to really master your trading, which is master your investing. Hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Post in the comment section below, are you a leaky bucket? How can I help you? Tell me and give me insights, questions, and thoughts on what I can do to pour more into you. And what videos would you like me and my team to create for you so that you can become a profitable trader 
Give more to your communities. Give more to your church. Give more to your charities. Donate, give, live, thrive. And I will see you in our next video. You rock. <laughs>